Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel and now we talk about the Ashes 2023 and the fourth test of Ashes 2023 we will give you a thorough preview of four test and Anderson's comment on his selection. Uh, England made a remarkable comeback in the Ashes 2023 as they beat Australia by three wickets in the third test of the series at Headingley Leeds. Being 2-0 down, the Ben Strokes left side finally managed to get on top of Australia and pounce on crucial moments in the game to emerge victorious. England have another must-win game in the fourth test beginning on July 19 at Emirates Old Trafford, Manchester. Ahead of the game, there are whispered talks regarding England's team combination. After the veteran, veteran seamer James Anderson was rested for the third test following the below-par outings in the first two games, there is a possibility of him being brought back into the team. However, Anderson isn't too bothered about whether, whether he will get a chance to play or not and will be happy with whatever the management decides. They will pick the strongest team to compete with Australia that particular week. I am completely happy with the whatever they decided. I know I am not guaranteed to play the next test and I will be completely understand if they want to stick with the winning team. The selection side is out of my hands. I just make sure that I am in a good place and ready to play. Anderson wrote in his column for the Telegraph. Notably, the four test will be played at Anderson's home ground at Old Trafford, where an end has been named after him. A back injury to Seymour Only Robinson has left a spot vacant in the England side for the upcoming test, and Anderson or Josh Tung are the likely replacements. Josh Tung impressed with his performance in second test. Anderson didn't have memorable out outings in the first two tests as he could manage to pick just three wickets. On the other hand, playing just his second test, Tung was the pick of the bowlers for England at Lords. In the first innings, the 25-year-old even managed to pick the prized scalps of David Warner and Steven Smith twice during the game, where he picked five wickets. England have a huge selection dilemma as they look to level the series in the four tests. On the other hand, Australia are just one win away from winning their first Ashes series in England since 2001. If you like this information, please subscribe my channel and share it to your friends. Thank you so much.